Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this new series of videos, we'll take a sneak peek at what to expect in PHP Storm 2020.1. The first thing you'll notice upon starting PHP Storm is the new look. The new IntelliJ Lite theme and the JetBrains monofont are now bundled with PHP Storm and set as default. Of course, you can customize look and feel if you want. In the settings, go to Appearance and Behavior, Appearance, Theme to choose the theme. To adjust the font, go to Editor, Font. In this version, we bring you enhanced support for Composer JSON. Inside your project, you can now right click in the project tree and select New, Composer JSON file. This will create a Composer JSON stub. If you want to customize its content, you can do so in the settings. Go to Editor, File and Code, Templates, Files, and select Composer JSON. Now, when you start filling the details, PHP Storm will assist you where possible. You'll get code completion for the package stability, license type, the required PHP version, as well as its extensions. This works for dependencies too. In earlier PHP Storm versions, you could only use the dedicated dialog to manage them. This is still possible, but now you can perform all the package management tasks right inside Composer JSON. Specifically, you will get auto completion for the package name and the available versions. To view the package details, such as the number of downloads and stars, you can now use the quick documentation pop up. Notice that PHP Storm detects and highlights dependencies that are specified in Composer JSON but are not installed yet. You can now press Alt plus Enter and install either all dependencies or just a specific one. What's more, if you declare a PHP CS fixer dependency and install it, PHP Storm will create the corresponding configuration and check whether the PHP CS fixer inspection is enabled. If it is not, Simply use the provided quick fix on the package declaration to enable the inspection and configure the rule set. Inside the autoload or autoload dev sections, you'll now get completion both for namespaces and folder paths based on your project structure. Now let's move to the script section, where you can run the commands for packages. Here, PHP Storm will now provide completion for PHP static method names or any commands for command line executables under the vendor bin directory. Having defined the script, you can run it right away. Either click the icon in the gutter, or press Alt plus Enter and select the corresponding action. Lastly, the links to packages, websites, or paths in Composer JSON are now interactive. You can command click a package to locate it inside the vendor folder. Similarly, command click a path to see the corresponding folder in the project tree, or command click a hyperlink to open it in the web browser. PHP Storm 2020.1 brings support for generating code coverage reports via the pcov extension. While it lacks the debugging capabilities provided by xdebug, it's lightweight and performant. To get started, install the extension and enable it for your PHP interpreter. Next, create a PHP unit run configuration. In the Run Configurations dialog, choose the preferred code coverage engine. Notice that besides pcov and xdebug, you can now run the coverage analysis via the PHP DBG, which is bundled in PHP 5.6 and later. And finally, run the created configuration to observe the code coverage state. When working with Twig templates, it can be required to change the default tags. For example, both Twig and Angular use structures enclosed in double curly braces, which makes it problematic using them side by side. To deal with such cases, you can use a custom syntax. Then, go to Preferences, Languages and Frameworks, PHP, Twig, and define the desired syntax for Twig structures. This sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2020.1 EAP. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates. See you next week.